You hadn't seen him in days? Chief Gant, I'm afraid you've just undone yourself. On that day, you had to have met with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? This trial purpose is to determine Lana Sky's guilt. No, it isn't, Your Honor. This trial's purpose is to determine the truth. If Chief Gant met with the victim on the day of the, mur of the crime, then we would need to determine one thing. What transpired during that meeting? In that case, Mr. Wright, I'm going to have to ask you to, for evidence. Show us proof that the victim went to meet Chief Gant on the day of the murder. Very simple. Goodman's lost item report. Detective Goodman's lost his ID card on the day of the crime. Or to be more accurate, Jake Marshall stole it. So Detective Goodman filled out a lost item report. He would have had to give his report to Chief of Police. Yet you are in possession of the report, which means you can't be sure he filed it. He filed it. How do I know, you ask? Because he needed to enter the evidence room that day. He needed to? Yes, to transfer the evidence out. Oh! Detective Goodman took the form to you, Chief Gant. Then, you accompanied the detective to the evidence room. I accompanied him? There's no other way the murderer and Detective Goodman could have entered the room. Hold on. Let me guess what you're gonna say. Ah, Chief of Police murdered poor Goodman. Exactly. But wait! The Chief didn't necessarily need to accompany him to the evidence room. You could have just lent him his ID card. Yes. Now that you mention it, I believe I might have done something of that sort. God, you're a dumb judge! Sorry, but that's not possible. According to the record, your card was only used once. But you showed your ID card earlier. If you had really lent it to Detective Goodman, it would have been found on his body! <laughs> no! Chief Gant, you didn't! The murderer most li was most likely committed to on spur of the moment. No one in their right mind would choose the police department as a place to commit murder. After murder, you contacted Lana at the prosecutor's office. Why else? To dispose of Detective Goodman's body. However, the victim's body was discovered in the prosecutor's office parking lot. How did he manage to move it there? It was at the police department the entire day, you know. And everyone's aware that Lana stayed at the prosecutor's office after the ceremony. Everyone except me, it seems. Still, you're the chief of police. You have an entire police force at your disposal. Oh, so you think I ordered an officer to do it? Hey, you take this here dead body to the prosecutor's office. I don't think so. Chief Gant, you left all, all the evidence we need to prove how you moved the body to the prosecutor's And all this time I thought it was a useless clue, just taking up space. Huh. How could the chief have moved the body? Mr. Wright! Show us the evidence! Heh. <laughs> it's funny that we're gonna actually use this. This is how he moved Detective Goodman's body! What's that? A screwdriver? But what does this have to do with this case? Mr. Edgeworth, think back to the day of the crime. What is this screwdriver doing here? It's here because... Ah! I was asked to go. By Chief Gant, no less. He told me he wanted me to keep it at the prosecutor's office. In, in any case, the, on the day of the stabbing, I brought this back to the prosecutor's office. After the ceremony ended that day, I didn't plan to return to the prosecutor's office. But you did, because Chief Gant asked you to. You mean I... I... The body was found in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car. I think it's obvious what happened. The body was moved by that car. Detective Goodman's body was carried in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car. Yes, unless of course you have another explanation, Chief. Why else would you have asked Mr. Edgeworth to carry evidence from a closed case? There's only one plausible explanation. To transport the body to your accomplice, Miss Lana Sky. Order! Order! What's going on here? Is there no room for rebuttal to the defense's outrageous accusations? 
Think back to the photograph Miss Starr took of the prosecutor's office. This was not a photo of a body being stuffed in the trunk to be taken away. It was exactly the opposite. It is a photo of being... It's a photo of the body being taken from the trunk. Chief Garrick, please say something. I believe... Your time's up. What? My... Time's up? Sorry, Rido, but I'm having lunch with the District Attorney General after this. We have to get going if... To make the time for the early bird special. But but the cross examination isn't finished yet. Remember what I told you earlier? A police chief has all kinds of weapons at his disposal. Weapons? Like the right to refuse to testify. I'm invoking that right now. What? That is not a right to casually invoke it. There are certain risks to be considered. So you're going to just run away after all this? Run away? Don't make me laugh, Worthy. I stabbed old Goodman. That's what you're saying, right? But if you had any conclusive evidence, you would have presented it by now. Well, I... You think I had Lana dispose of the body? If so, then show your proof and get it over with. Hmm. I'll say it again, Mr. Wright. Damon Grant is current chief of police. The court will not tolerate any accusations against him without concrete proof. Well, Mr. Wright, you're your honor. Do you have any concrete proof? Prove that Chief Grant murdered Detective Goodman and made Miss Sky dispose of his body. Do I have concrete proof? Uh. Oh God. Um. No, that's not gonna do it. Damn it. I I don't. It's no use showing evidence. I'm not even sure of myself. No, Your Honor. At present, I have no conclusive evidence. <laughs> See, Yoji? In that case, this court is forced to penalize you for allegations against the chief. What? I don't gamble unless the stakes are high. It seems that Lady Luck was on my side again today. Okay, Yoji, I'll leave the rest to you. Damn it. I warned you earlier, Mr. Wright. This is afferent a, to a senior officer in nation's law enforcement agency. What? Lady Luck, hmm. Maybe we should have a word with her. Mr. Edgeworth, what do you mean? There's one lady who knows the real truth behind this trial. We haven't yet had the honor of hearing her testimony. Lady who knows the truth, another witness. In absence of the conclusive evidence, the only other method is proof of his testimony. But Chief Kant was in has invoked his right to refuse to testify. There's still someone else. One more witness who can answer all the questions raised in this trial. Someone right in this very room. Mr. Edgeworth, who is this person? <laughs> Why are you asking me, Your Honor? Have you forgotten? The defense is the one calling the witnesses today. Mr. Wright, does such a witness exist? She may not be willing to tell the truth. But we can't just stop now. Yes, Your Honor. The defense calls forth. <sighs> Alright. She's our last choice. The defendant? Miss Lana Skye? She is an underground parking lot at 515 on February 21st. Her task, dispose of the victim's body. In accordance with certain someone's orders. Hmm. <clears throat> Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution has no objections, Your Honor. Very well, the court will now take a fi its final recess for the day. In 15 minutes, we will reconvene to hear the defendant's testimony. This court w is now... Hold on, huh? Chief Garrett, I thought you were going to eat. Listen good, Lana. He's talking to Lana. I don't think you need me to tell you this, but if you accept Mr. Wright's claim, there will be terrible consequences. That's right. Your sister will be found guilty for Neil Marshall's murder. Ugh, this isn't good. Of course, you better support such outrageous... You'd never support such outrageous claims anyway, right? Just something to think about. All right, then. I've got a lunch date to meet. God, you're an asshole. Doesn't that seem kind of... God, you're a bad judge. Okay, if there aren't any further objections... This court is now in recess. God, you're a stupid judge. February 25th, 2 04 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 2. 
Looks like we managed to stay in the game. Yeah, thanks to your help, Edgeworth. That chief! He's something else, eh, pal? Detective Gumshoe! Ha 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 I'm not a detective anymore! Oh yeah, sorry about that. Ah, oh, don't worry! I've already decided where to work now! At your office! My office? Sure! I'll take place of that top-knotted girl you used to work with! Could he mean... Maya? Still, looks like we're all out of moves now! Chief Gant's done it again! How is it he always gets the upper hand? It's not fair he has the right to refuse to testify. Hmph, <laughs> settle down right. Remember what the judge said? But Chief, that is not right to uh, just casually invoke it. There are certain risks to be considered. Risks? What do you mean by that? It's simple. If the Chief refuses to testify, the opposite also holds true. 